Several months have passed since Russia unveiled its newest fighter aircraft, the Sukhoi-75 Checkmate. Well, we've received another batch of promotional material about the fighter and it's anticipated to make an appearance and a flight at the Dubai Air Show this week from the 14th to the 18th of November. This is probably intended to make a push and to stir up international interest in export variants of the Sukhoi-75 Checkmate. One of the most interesting things about the new Sukhoi-75 is that it appears appears to be much larger than initially thought. Pictures have been circulating of the new aircraft beside the Sukhoi 57 Felon, which gives us an interesting reference point to the true size of the aircraft. The Checkmate is approximately 57 feet long with a wingspan of 39 feet, compared to 66 feet long and 46 feet wide for the Felon. The engine of the Checkmate remains mysterious. However, it's unclear if the real intended power plant is even installed in the demonstrator. In the last reveal of the Sukhoi 75 Checkmate, we were told the aircraft is rated for 8 G maneuvering. This makes you wonder if the aircraft will be competitive in rate fights against the American counterpart aircraft that are rated for 9G. Is the aircraft capable of high alpha or high angles of attack? Because if so, that would be a very handy thing to have in your back pocket if you find yourself in a merge with an American aircraft. The Sukhoi 75 seems to be lacking leading edge extensions like those of the Hornet or even canards like the Eurofighter. These features are often attributed with air aircraft capable of high alpha maneuvers. But the Sukhoi 75 is supposed to have thrust vectoring, so it's possible that the 3D thrust vectoring capabilities of the aircraft will be able to give the aircraft the edge needed for today's modern combat environment. It's also worth noting that claims have been made that the Sukhoi 75 Checkmate will retain the super maneuverability historically present in the Sukhoi 27, 30, and 35 family. There was a quote floating around that reads, the Sukhoi 75 Checkmate has all the hallmarks of a high flying interceptor whose main role is to hunt the American F-22 and F-35 stealth fighter. This seems like a bit of a stretch or at the very least a very hyperbolic statement intended to drive export sales. The Sukhoi 75 Checkmate remains unproven and to claim that its main job is to hunt the F-22 and the F-35 is a lot of talk. It's a little too much icing, not enough cake, if you will. Maybe the Sukhoi 75 is capable of taking on the F-22 and the F-35, I don't know, but it's way too soon to be speculating about this kind of thing or even making these kind of claims. TASS, a Russian news agency, has provided this rendering of an unmanned version of the Checkmate. It's likely that the unmanned variant of the aircraft will work in tandem with real pilots to provide additional support as needed. This sounds similar to the Boeing Loyal Wingman drone. It's also worth noting that we know virtually nothing about the artificial intelligence system that would be used to fly and operate the Checkmate drone if Sukhoi did push ahead with the project. The plan is to offer the Checkmate at a unit cost of just over $30 million. This makes the Sukhoi 75 a third the cost of the F-35, coming in at $90 million per unit cost, and about half the cost of a modernized F-16. What's really interesting here is that the Sukhoi 75 Checkmate is expected to be even cheaper than the JF-17 Thunder, coming in at $55 million per unit cost. It's extremely confusing and puzzling to try to understand how Sukhoi could possibly deliver this aircraft to any market anywhere near those prices. But they do go on to clear up that, quote, cost will vary based on configuration. And it's common practice in the weapons manufacturing world to water down or dilute the potency of your weapon or aircraft that you plan to export and to keep the top variant of the aircraft or weapon for your own nation. This makes perfect sense. The question remains, how watered down will the export version of the Sukhoi 75 checkmate B in order to make the aircraft so cheap to purchase. It's still far too soon to speculate on the capabilities of the Sukhoi 75 Checkmate, but given the information available as of right now, one has to wonder if the Checkmate is intended to be used for generating revenue in the export market first and the domestic design second. The Checkmate may prove to be the most capable aircraft to come out of Russia to date, or it may be a flop. It's just too soon to say.